Hey guys, it's Cass, and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft Season 2, Episode 8, I believe. Yes, and we are going into... We're starting by going into this big ravine that I've been talking about since the beginning. In this episode, I do actually hit 500 days while I'm streaming, um, which is awesome. But this ravine doesn't really produce a whole lot of anything besides some resources that I should go back down and grab now that I'm like running out of iron. Um, but I was just trying to be careful about going into it because I just, I don't know, I was just nervous I was going to clip a block and fall to my death. Um, but it doesn't really turn out that there's much of anything in here. Um, but I was really hoping for like a mine shaft or, you know, something that was cooler. But it ends up not being as deep or as long as I kind of thought it would be, um, which is fine. But like I said, it just will turn out to be like a great resource kind of thing. And while I was streaming... I kind of was coming up with the idea, like, I think everybody has seen those, I don't know, videos or pictures or something. I've seen them on Reddit before, um, where they, where someone has, like, completely transformed a ravine and made it, like, a village in there or houses or something. So I think I would love to peel the top, like, layer of dirt off and put some glass there. Um, but... I don't know, that's a work in progress. I have so many other things that I'm working on right now, so maybe at some point I can come back to this. But out the back right here, I noticed this hole, and I was like, oh, that's entirely another ravine. So this ravine kind of cuts off right here on this side. And I take out this skeleton, this creeper, and I think there's two zombies down here. Um, just because, knowing my luck, if I started to look in the other ravine, they'd go up the uh, water fountain um, or the flow of water and uh, push me in. <laughs> it would be my luck. So I wipe them out. And then when I look back this way, you could see it's entirely another ravine. And this one goes down for quite a ways, so I'm like carving out towards the top again, trying to light it up. Just so when I go down, nothing can get me, I guess. Um, or nothing can fall on me, I guess is the better way to say that. But I did not finish cleaning this side out. Um... Here in this clip, like, I'm getting closer to the back. And you could kind of see through there, like, how far I've already come down it. Um, but yeah, I didn't see a mine shaft or anything in this one. Of course, not that they're always in them. I just am always hoping for one because I'm only missing glowberries. So I'm just really excited for that. But I did this right before stream. And then this is where stream started. And during stream, I worked on... Um, making the wall around my village. So I did like mossy cobblestone, cobblestone, like the brick, stone bricks, and then mossy stone bricks. Um, and then you can see like moss, the azalea leaves, the fences, um, the flowering azalea. And then I do end up going all the way around and I had terraformed like some of the over to the right of where I'm at, um, I had terraformed a lot of that stuff. Um, I was trying to figure out here, like, how am I going to divide this? I didn't want to go down all these steps. And on stream, I had kind of made the decision that I'm going to be raising all of this lower portion of the land. So... I, um, spoiler, do end up making a sheep farm. You guys won't see that for a while. I just did that on the stream that just happened, um, on October 4th. Um, so that should be coming out on, I don't know, the, uh, the Friday after this video is posted. <laughs> that stuff should be coming out, I think. Um, but... 
I, at the same time, decided to try to make this B area more of a feature because I ran around. I got the achievement for um, silk touching and traveling with beehives or something, three or more of them. I ended up finding about five more out in the other flower forest that's just like a hundred blocks away. And these bees kept going out over the top and then coming down on the sides while I was on stream. And I just kept getting like jokingly frustrated. I wasn't actually frustrated by the fact that I'd have to keep hopping down to break the glass to let them in. So I knew the next best thing I needed to take care of was cover it but kind of like I was saying over like behind me at this point um but I decided I needed to and want to terraform the land a little bit to be a little more flat in the village like I'm going to leave this garden over here down where it is I'm not gonna mess with that I'll expand and give them another garden somewhere else when I redo the village um and kind of this area right here, this all used to be really down low by the water and I kind of raised it as well. I just didn't want so many like dips and stuff, which is where like where the sheep are at. I'm going to be redoing it. But this is where I ended the stream showing the progress of that wall around the village. And then this was right after I was done with stream. And I kept, the bees kept getting out and I didn't want to lose any of them. And yes, I can continue to breed them. But I was like, let's just cover this over with dirt um, so I can get them back in and, or I guess keep them in. And this is where I'm putting down all the beehives that I um, found while I was out um, doing like a little, I guess like adventuring, but I... I just come across them and decided I wanted to grab a bunch of them. <clears throat> but yeah, all these bees busting out. And I was breeding some. Trying to make more. And then I'm back on top. Um, and honestly, even though I put the dirt there to... Um, keep the bees in I had decided I might as well utilize the fact that it's there to help me build out the top of the greenhouse beekeeping area um so that's what you see me doing here and just trying to figure out to how to give it like the slightest curve because I didn't want it to go up too much And then I'm chopping back all the dirt and then I end up putting dirt back up there because I decide the all glass is just too much that I want to put um, some more wood accents and I recreate the floor pattern from the storage room right here. I figured that'd be good to try to keep carrying that pattern kind of throughout everything if I do like paths and just as features around everything. just because I think it would really help unify everything and I put moss down on all of it just because I'm not a big fan of the tops of the wood but the pattern of the dark to the light with the dark oak the spruce the oak and then the birch is probably one of my favorite things that I've ever come up with in Minecraft ever and then like I said we just put in some moss down on top of it But I did decide that I wanted to put wood throughout. Because that's this is when I was like, mm, the glass is just a little too much. So we put, I believe these are just oak logs. And then I strip them. I take a step back and I'm like yeah it, it needs that it needs like the breakup it needs the texture difference doing it in the corners as well and I I would love to put more leaves around inside I haven't done that yet but I want to put more leaves around inside 
kind of spread out the moss a little bit on the floor inside as well. And then, of course, if and when I can find glow berries. But then this is where I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to extend it over. And if I wanted to make the whole top wood or I wasn't exactly sure. So I tried out a few different things. And then here I'm running out. You can kind of see a little bit of the wall. I need to make a grander entrance. And then this is kind of how it's looking so far. I add in more wood and then I'm like, okay, wherever I put the dirt above the dirt is going to be wood. So I decide on this layer, I'm going to kind of trim the whole thing out. And here's a pan of kind of how it ends up looking at the end. But that's it for this episode, guys. I got my wall built. I got my beehive greenhouse situation set up. Like I said, want to do more detail and everything, but that will come with time. I'm really happy. I do need to get rid of the wood fencing in there, and then I will be raising everything back this way. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!